Hello guys and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we are hopefully facing the Pearl Highlands Puke Puke. So uh, I have edited my build a little bit just for this battle. So I've got Resistor uh, level 3 on 3 different decorations on my Draken Armor. Just because I don't want to get hit with that Water Blight and it's going to be incredibly annoying to deal with throughout the fight. So uh, that's one thing you will notice in Iceborne is you've just got to be prepared. Or some of the techniques that the monsters have, like um, uh, Nightshade Paolumo, uh, who we will face next episode, is going to have a lot of sleep, so I'm going to have to have the Pep Jewel, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's called the Pep Jewel, and uh, that will stop you from falling asleep if you have three of those. But for now, we've got three resistor jewels just to get rid of the um, water blade. Commencing so, the Coral Puke Puke yeah, investigation uh... now. The Fifth Fleet's A list hunter will take point while I keep record. The field team has already gathered tracks. Let's follow the scout flies. Huh? Let's get into this. Kind of got interrupted there. I've actually been uh, playing for the most of the DLC on an alt account. And uh, it's been pretty interesting because I've had to sort of... Because I don't have access to the Draken armor on that account, I've had to sort of work my way around it and try and figure out ways to deal we're not having Draken armor, I've been using the uh, Kuliyaku armor. Most of that has uh, critical eyes, so I've just been sort of working off of that. And like, e even if you have full, uh, like, on that account, because I've made a pretty, a nice build that I'm pretty proud of. Oh, here it is. On that account, I've got a uh, level 7 attack boost and level 7 crit eye, and even then I'm struggling with the uh, some of the bosses. So I'm kind of scared for what's to come for this account. For this character, I should say. Oh, I forgot how much I hated this thing. Do you suppose what's riling them up is connected to the issue with the Legiana? First target is the tail. Oh, I missed. Whoops. Try and slam it to a wall. That's uh. Oh no, 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 no. Don't flash, don't flash. Oh, good. Oh, it's, it's gonna do it. Don't you dare. He flashed. God damn it. Shoot. And I ran into that. That was my own fault. Actually doing pretty good damage. Thought I'd be getting manhandled a little more than this, but uh Oh no. Press control too early. Uh is there any more sling around? Yeah we can use this. Come on friend, I just wanna slam you into a wall. There we go. For uh, Coral Highlands, Spooky Pooky, you always want to go for the tail. Just because it's such a pain to deal with. It has a really annoying special, uh, like, special attack where it will fly up and then rotate its tail. And uh, it's just not fun to deal with. So I really want to cut this thing off before it gets the chance. Oh, 
comes. Okay, we got out of the way just in time. Oh my god! That barely even touched me and it fainted me. Oh my god, that is going to be troublesome. Alright. Probably should have got Fortitude on now that I think about it. That would have been a pretty good choice. Uh, I don't want to use that. There we go, there's a normal potion. Have we got any uh, meat in here? Let's check the supplies, Jess. Yeah, we do. Okay. Always good if you think. Some easy rations. Make sure we sharpen our blade as well. I actually didn't think I'd faint there. That was kind of surprising. Um, well... No use getting down on it. Some bright muscling around there. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have left its uh, area. Just be careful about how we approach it. I say that will probably die instantly. I pressed it too early again. Oh my god, oh, I died instantly again. Yeah, this is about the time where your armor starts to fail. This is, uh, this is bad. Okay, this may be an actual fail. Let's get some water moss. Can we get, uh... No, we can't. I haven't gotten free mil. Okay, we'll just have to wing it. And probably actually bother using our mantles. Since Iceborne came out, I've been constantly forgetting to use my mantles. It's just been a bad habit. Luckily, we didn't eat all our rations this time, so... Uh, you know, at least get a slight stand boost. <sighs> Back we go. drag this out any longer. <laughs> Please. Where's it going? Oh my god. Okay, it's going up top. I also seem to have solved the lag issue from last episode, or at least most of it. Frame rate still drops occasionally, but it's not as bad as it was last time. I think it's just compatibility for right now. I'll probably release a patch eventually, but for now it's just, uh, yeah. I think everybody's getting frame drops. Wait, where did they go? Let's go to the starting area, zone one. Yeah, I guess it went all the way over there. Ah, oh, there was no point in coming over then. <laughs> Or maybe it's with uh, the Flash creature. I can't pronounce his name. Yeah, it's down here. Yeah. Go for the tail.
Oh, that's still kind of worked out. Oh, it's still stunned. I didn't even realise. Okay. That should make things slightly easier for us right now. Well, I guess that happened. Oh, reset. Yay. Alright, so we're back. Uh, I'm going to try something different this turn. Slightly different approach. Let's change our helm. Should have it. Here it is. Secret plan. I genuinely haven't done this in such a long time. Get my buffs. Go in, change your stuff back. They're using before. Huh. Hmm. What was I using before? Right. I think it was the Nagagante helm. Okay. So, oh, need to eat a meal. This way we get the buffs as well, so that should give us a slightly better chance of surviving this time and not just getting one hit. If it continues to be a problem, I can always upgrade my armor and uh, do a few side quests with Kulu Yaku and get the uh, crit boosted stuff. Alright, back to hunting it again. <laughs> Here we are. Hello, friend. for that thing. I just realised I still didn't use my mantles. Even though I said I would use my mantles, I didn't use them. I'm an idiot. I deserve that first fail. Gotta stop standing under the tail as well. There. Sometimes you just miss close range attacks like that. It's really annoying. Alright. Trying to weaken its legs and then I can flip on its side, but I don't think it's working too much. That'd have been cool if I could lock onto it. Going this way. 
Or is it just flying up uselessly and it's going to go straight to the same place? I know what some of those zone moving flights are like. They're really weird. The monster will fly off in one direction and then they just like appear behind you. Oh, it's up here. Good. Uh, we should probably sharpen our weapon. Just to be sure. We also want temple or mantle. Just in case. Let's try and get it over close to the wall so we can uh, slam it. Oh no. They used it too early. Range on that thing is BS, to say the least. Yeah, some of the attacks. I said both some of the creatures were gimmicky, but like this is just some insane levels of BS. Here it comes. Chance has presented itself. Pick that up. No, I didn't. Slinger Fawns, where are you going? I think it's heading off to the Puke Puke area. It sure is being troublesome. This is a lot harder than a uh, Viper Toby to get. I still can't pronounce it to save my life. Toby Kadachi, there we go. Separate the damn thing. Hmm. 
Oh, that works. What have I got? Please tell me I do. I don't think I do. Fudge. I was hoping I'd had some large barrel bombs. Well, good chance to sharpen our weapon. I've got the quest ones. No, I don't. I didn't pick them up. Ah, oh, ever unprepared. Amazed that it didn't hit me. Come on, cough. That is some absolute shit right there. <laughs> it hit me mid air. How? That is some luck. That is some luck and a half. Shush. That shouldn't have hit, but it did. I wish we were doing better than the first attempt, honestly. That's all I'm happy about. It's still getting cut off. Is this like an immortal tail? You can't be serious. Off the damn thing. That's unfortunate. So it's back here. Well, at least we can slam it into a wall here. See how it went flying? Maybe slam not. Slam it into a wall to really create an opening. Timed that pretty well. That's a shame. Oh, man, it was a backup. I used to really love Pookie Pookie. This is getting harder and harder. <laughs> Is 
finally! Alright, I can get serious about killing it now. It's so odd to me that I don't get angry when I die to, like, um, with this character. But I, I rage so badly when I die with my more, uh, like, weaker character. Like, I was fighting Nagakugi yesterday, or, uh, uh, what is it? Aria Dios, or something like that. And they, like, they, they absolutely destroyed me the first time I fight, fought them. But I didn't react, like, even slightly badly to that. Or, no, I did react slightly badly to that. But with this character, I don't. It's kind of odd. You'd think with a weak character, I'd expect it. But I, for whatever reason, don't. Uh, let's get the head grapple. <sighs> Fire too early again. I've really got to make sure I'm on the head grapple. Mm. I've walked into that. Don't run. It's wasteful. almost invisible. I don't know. Did I already get it? Am I getting forgetful? I could have swore I didn't pick it. Huh. There's nothing to cut from it. Maybe I'm just getting forgetful. That's kind of odd. Uh, let's switch back. Okay, sharpen weapon. And... We'll stay on Vigor Wasp delivery. Oh, it's this way. I'm going to say it's either it's zone 1 in the starting area, or it's at the nest again. Yeah, it's here. So angry. Potions. Another turn four. How? This is some BS. Let's 
get the item. Get this as well. Reset it. We're doing good. We could probably capture it, but I don't want to capture it. We've gotten it pretty low, so I think it's just worth the final fight. Plus, I want revenge for my death. Where's it going? Here it comes. Taking it its time. Go away, Shamos. Dodge that. Ah. Start to realize it. It like it likes to make distance between itself and the player. So if you stay close range, you stand a much better chance against it. I mean like it still does have attacks like that. One coral puke puke taken down. Data compiled. Let's return to Astera and prepare for the next investigation. Mushroom answer is a complete life lifesaver. Did I say that right? Mushroom answer. Mushroom answer. I think I said it weirdly. That stuff actually saves you in like the worst time. It will save your life. Oh. Well, that is quite a rare drop. Well, we took down the Coral Puke Puke, so I think I will end the episode there today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when we face the Nightshade Aulumo. 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 I think it's how that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!